Hi, my name is Amber Kivett, and I'm sports medicine professional and human performance specialist with Life Pro Recovery Tools. We're excited to finally be launching treadmills, and today I'm excited to share with you the Pacer Motorized Treadmill. User manuals included, and with this user manual are preset programs 1 through 36. There's more information on the inside of your guide about what that workout is like on page 22 and 23 for more information. This specific treadmill has the ability to fold up fast, to slide it against the wall, and to push back down with an incline of a 0 to 12. So if you're one of those individuals who really likes to walk uphill, walk downhill, or likes to jog with a little bit of an extra resistance, then the incline is the way for you. The other thing that makes this treadmill really special is it automatically comes with its own heart rate monitor. So you don't have to have a Polar, you don't have to have a name brand monitor. You can use the same one that is included in your package and use the apps that we recommend in the user guide. So heart rate monitor coordinates with it. It is Bluetooth enabled and if you decide that you're wanting to listen to something that works with an MP3 function, we have our MP3 cable that attaches right here on the back and you can listen to whatever device you want to. We have a nice control panel here offering differences between the distance, time, and speed of your programming. Speed is from a .6 mile per hour all the way up to a 10 mile per hour. If we're looking at rapid speed, this one is equipped with rapid speed buttons, which means all you have to do is tap the button and it automatically takes you to 3.7 miles per hour or 5.6 miles per hour. It's also measured in kilometers, so if you're in a different country, you can go ahead and push that for a six or a nine kilometers per hour. It also has automatic incline function, so if you're wanting to jump right on into that incline, you can push the six, or the nine and it automatically will take you to an incline of a six or a nine and you can adjust down or up from there all the way up to a 12. Again, comes with preset programs one through 36. It also comes with user set pre-programming so that depending on which program you like, you can choose user one, user two, or user three to save your programming and come right back to it the next time you have a session. It has a BMI calculator already built into it as well underneath the program setting. So if you have trouble finding your BMI by calculation online or don't wanna do the calculation on paper, just run through the treadmill and it'll calculate everything for you. So if we're looking at the differences here, we have all of our incline buttons on the left and we have all of our speed buttons on the right. Also incorporated in the handrails are speed buttons on your right with hand sensors and incline buttons on your left with hand sensors. But again, if you're wearing this heart rate monitor, you don't need those heart sensors because it's automatically going to adjust your program as needed based on what your heart rate monitor is telling it. It does come with a cup holder over here on the left and last but not least, your safety switch. So you can choose to wear this on the front of your shirt or on your pants, or you can just lay it there in the tray if you choose not to use it if it gets in your way. And if you need an emergency stop, there's a red stop button here on your left. Okay, so now that we've got the treadmill unloaded, you're gonna see that we've got a pile of parts here, we've got the user manual, and it takes only five minutes, according to the user manual, to assemble this treadmill on your own time. So you're gonna open your manual to page 10, and you're gonna find five minute assembly guide, and I'm just gonna lead you through the process on how you're gonna do this at home in order to make it as smooth and seamless as possible. So first, we have two sets of screws here. We're gonna use the longer set of screws. And then you have two different hex screwdrivers. You wanna make sure you get the hex screwdriver that matches up with the long screws. Now from here, we are going to use a little bit of our energy and raise this up just a tad. You're gonna see how the holes come together here on the leg. And we're gonna go ahead and drive that screw through and go ahead and tighten that down as tight as you can comfortably get it. There's one side. And we're gonna go over here, we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. The hole's gonna line up exactly the same. And we got it. So from here, we're gonna grab our other set of screws and our other hex screwdriver. This set of arms is gonna come down and you're gonna see the holes lining up on the inside, not on the outside this time. So I'm gonna use one of my screws and get it started threading into this hole on the inside. It's always easier said than done sometimes. 
but giving it a little bit of a start. And then you're going to use your hex screwdriver that's included. Tighten that down so you can't turn it any further. And we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So here's the other. Go ahead and get that started, make it easier. Sometimes these threads don't always line up the way that they're supposed to. So just do your best to get it going and then use your screwdriver and a little bit of muscle and it'll go a long way. Again, I'm not as user friendly with tools as most others that are out there, but I'd say that worked just fine. So what we're going to do next in our assembly process, we're going to take this locking pin and we're going to place it in the control panel. There's a little hole right here that we can secure this so that it keeps our control panel upright. It takes a little bit of wiggle room and we're done. So the next step in our process is we're going to take the cup holder and it's going to secure right into the top here in this little tray. Just pops right into place. A little bit of energy there, and we got it. And last but not least is our safety clip. And with our safety clip, we're going to pull it out of its knotted position. And this has to go in before you can start the unit. So our safety pin goes right here. And then for now, we're going to place this right here inside this tray. And so now, it's time to power it on. So the final step of this assembly process is plugging our power cord into our electrical source. And now that we are secure to power, we flip the on off switch and now we're ready to go. So now that you've got your treadmill up and running, now we have to make sure that we lubricate the belt to make sure that it's ready to go for your first workout. We don't want to get on the treadmill until we have lubricated the belt and let it run for a few minutes. So we're going to do the exact same thing on both sides. With your tools, you have the hex screwdriver with the Phillips head on the end. We have to get underneath of this belt. So we're going to wedge underneath of there until we can feel it. And we're going to lift up and slide your hands underneath, okay? You're going to take that screwdriver and you're just going to lay it there so it doesn't fall back under. We're going to get our silicone ready, which we've already provided for you. You're going to cut the tip off, a pair of scissors. Then from here, your applicator tip goes on. And new applicator tips take a little bit of extra wiggle room. So wiggle that on down. And we're ready to go. Take the red cap off. And then from here, we're going to start all the way up here at the top. We're going to slide that underneath of there, like such. We're going to give it a little bit of a squeeze as we slide our hose forward, we're going to squeeze again as we slide forward. Slide your screwdriver down just to maintain that gap. Squeeze on in, slide it out a little bit further. And this side is good to go. So we're going to pull this out. And we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So as stated in our user's manual, specifically on page 29, we're going to get the belt running so that we can lubricate the belt at 2.5 miles an hour for five minutes. While we're doing this, we're going to keep an eye on the belt and see if it's properly aligning. So we go 2.5 miles per hour. As you can hear, it's whisper quiet. We're going to come down here on the end. We're just going to make sure that everything lines exactly the way we want it to align. So as the belt is rotating and lubricating the surface, we can get a good glimpse as to whether the belt is on track. And in our case and scenario, it is. If it were not, you're going to turn to page 34, which is going to tell you how you're going to adjust the two different screws in the end of the track, either clockwise or counterclockwise in order to adjust the belt to the right or to the left, depending on what your situation is. If you have trouble with that, make sure and reach out to us, support at lifeprofitness.com or call our customer service hotline and we'll be happy to talk you through the process live. Okay, so now that we've got everything assembled, we've got the, the belt lubricated, 
We've got everything turned on and ready to go. Let's take it for a stroll. So you're going to turn on your safety clip here on the front. Either clip it to the front of your shirt or you can even clip it to the front of your pants or your shorts, whatever's convenient for you. Um, if you're not comfortable with using the clip and if, if it's going to get into your way, then you can easily lay the clip up top and the unit will still run. If you're using the heart rate monitor, you're going to moisten the straps down on both sides and this is going to go underneath of your shirt, just right below the line of your pecs, right above your rib cage, so that you can communicate with the unit through Bluetooth and through the heart rate monitor. So now that we're ready to start, we're going to push the start button and the countdown is ready. So we're going to start with 3.7. It's going to take us all the way up to 3.7. Hold on to the handrails until you get comfortable with the walk. You don't have to hold on to the handrails if you like to walk normal. But again, if you're wanting to increase that incline, put our hands right here and you can increase that incline right here from the handrails. And this goes all the way up to an incline of 12. It's pretty challenging for most. And one thing to remember, a lot of times when you go on an incline, a lot of times you have to decrease that speed because an incline with speed is pretty tough. So you might decrease your speed while you're increasing the incline until you get comfortable. Make it a lot more challenging. Take those arms off the handrails as you're walking up your heel. Now from here, you get tired of the incline, you can also make adjustments right here on the front. One thing you're gonna notice though, whisper quiet for, the most, for most treadmills. This one is easy to fold up, still has a wide track, so that if you're wanting to run or you're wanting to walk, you're not too narrow and it's easy to move. So we're gonna decrease our speed. And let's say I've had enough. You can just push the stop button. It'll go on down to basic level, zero incline, zero speed. Ooh, my heart rate is up. So real quick, we're gonna go through the programming. So we push the program, P1, we hold it down until you get through P36. And if you want more information about what are specific to those programs, you can look that up in your manual. In fact, I highly recommend that you make a photocopy of your manual, laminate it, and hang it on the wall next to you. This is user one, user two, user three. Heart rate one, so if you're gonna wear that heart rate chest strap, if you want this to automatically adjust to your heart rate chest strap, you're gonna go with heart rate one, heart rate two, or heart rate three. But you have to have the chest strap to do that. We push one more time, F1 is BMI calculator. So if you need help calculating your BMI to knowing where you're at with weight loss or with waist to hip circumference, how healthy you are, and you can keep track of that over time on your treadmill with your workouts, it's a great indicator to do that. We have it all built in here so you don't have to calculate it. And we're back to start. So, all the different things that you can do there. If you are in manual mode, you can go over here to the mode button, changing your time, changing your distance into how far you want to train. You'll see how many calories you're, you're burning at the time. And then and when the unit is running, it automatically will show up with the speed. But the mode just gives you the opportunity to move through those different indicators of measurement so that you kind of know where you're at with the workout. So from here, we're ready to fold it up. We're trying to move it out of the way, make some extra room in your space. So we're gonna turn off the switch. We're gonna unplug it. And then from here, make sure that all of your things are clear here. Always make sure that you keep track of your safety key because without the safety key, you can't use the unit. And then from here, it's quite simple. We're just gonna lift up on the belt here until it locks in down at the bottom. And then from here, as you can see, it's got wheels. So we can lift it from either side, pulling it back and we can take it for a push wherever it is we're trying to go. Once you get to where you're wanting to go, get yourself situated, and then once you're ready to use it again, give it a little step, which releases the lever, and then from here, it just lowers itself on its own, so you don't have to push it. And from here, we go back to putting that safety key where we started. OK, 
okay. So all four legs are on the ground. Plug in your unit and you're ready to go for your next workout. Make sure that you reach out to us so that you can activate your warranty. It does have a limited lifetime warranty. If you have any problem whatsoever, make sure to refer back to your user manual or call us direct or you can email us at support at lifeprofitness.com. And don't forget to post pictures or messages about how you're doing with your workouts because we're all in this together. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to hearing from you.